Welcome to drillingcontractor.org. Here in Vienna, IADC is hosting a workshop on drilling systems automation. And joining me is Thomas Dekoff of Siemens. Thomas, thanks so much for joining me. In your keynote presentation, you talked about the Monday model. Can you tell us a little bit more um, about how that works? Yes, uh, it's driven by our customer. For our customer, it's essential to have the newest automation technology because that drives their efficiency, their safety, and their profit at the end. Um, for this reason, they would like to have a direct contact to the uh, uh, key player of this, that means to the automation vendor, and uh, this um, triangle um, yes, supports this, this approach. Uh, triangle means, uh, means um, the end customer, the system supplier like Siemens, and the plant builder like any EPC company. And given your expertise um, with projects and automation in the chemical industry, you also talked about the three process or three core aspects of process automation. What are those? Yes, first is automation technology. Uh, for this um, purpose, we need the newest and the best uh, development of these um, systems. Um, second is uh, the right engineering uh, environment for that. That's one of our most important uh, fields of investment uh, to give our customer the chance to apply the newest technology into their plants and the third one is to have the right business model behind this because uh, at the end it's all regarding costs and regarding uh, responsibility and therefore the business model and the contract model must be uh, adapted to this approach. And from today's discussion, what kind of challenges do you see in applying automation into the drilling business? I have the feeling that in our industry, in the chemical industry, the end customer is real in the driver's seat. He requires uh, the newest solutions from us every day. We have a very, very close uh, relationship with him, but always driven by the end customer. And I have the feeling that in the uh, drilling industry, it's not 100% clear who is driving this automation process and who will get the benefits from, from that. I think that must be cleared up uh, at the beginning, that uh, the real benefits um, are clearly addressed and, uh, yes, supported by the automation system. Well, Thomas, thank you so much for giving us your perspective on the chemical side of automation. Thank you for the interview. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.